Well, unfortunately, I didn't take before photos, but this is kind of the thing I had with black, it had black wheels and and uh, wasn't in any kind of shape, nothing, nothing as good as this one. Um, but I've taken a, the paint off of it and, well, as much as I could, dearie me, I mean, that just looks horrible. And that's after it being on there twice, once for an hour and once for four hours. So uh, you can see here where someone else has tried to repair it. That's all got to be sanded down and here as well. I mean, it looks just awful. But I've got some stuff for it and we'll try to make a nice, a nice little toy of that. Probably try to bring it a little closer to this than, than the crappy thing that it was. Anyway, nice little project. See how it comes out. Well, I didn't do a very good job of keeping up the videos on this little project. Um, as you can see, it's, it's as done as I think I can get it. Um, I've used uh, a little bit of black around the ice there, which is not done on some of the other toys of this era or this style, but it makes it pop out a little bit better. Um, I've corrected a lot of the really bad casting. Some of it was just beyond what I could do. Um, for example, the eyes of this beast, impossible to paint on because one side is sort of bulgy in one way, and the other side is bulgy in another way, and that just wasn't going to work. But it seems to have turned out pretty well. I used... Um, uh, just some normal normal red, white, black, uh, some, uh, I think, earth brown for this stuff here. A little bit of silver uh, here. And, uh, of course, the hooves are black. And uh, I saw some of the original paint had black on the tail and black here, but all of my research into white horses showed that they had white manes and white tails. So all in all, it's turned out uh, quite nice. And now I just have to, uh, of course, put the, put the wheels back on and this, uh, this should be ready. Not willing to leave well enough alone. The If the wagon is sitting like that, then there's a lot of room here. And what I found is that on the front leg of the horse, people put a, a wheel. And so you can buy these on line for $50 a piece, or you can try to machine one yourself, which is more or less the first time I've done it. So I've done this and the idea is that I will put it on the front leg by, by drilling it's going to be a little too long but I'm drilling this into the leg and doing it like that. So that could just blow the whole thing, but I'm going to give it a try. So here we have it, the finished product, and uh, it's looking, looking, looking pretty good, I think, certainly from where we started. And lots of work gone into this, lots of uh, fixing the casting and that kind of thing, and you, as you can see here, we've got a a new wheel, just like the ones in the 30s would have had, and that was done by, you can see in there, extending the hoof and putting a pin through there, or a screw, and then uh, fabricating a, a wheel. So there it is, and it rolls. And it's a nice collectible little toy. 
was a lot of fun to do.